These are the last survivors. Cantabrians have managed to hide indoors while a global pandemic known as the Z virus overcame mankind, turning them into hordes of undead. They've been sent to this outpost for extraction, but when they arrive, the zombies attack. This is the opening scene of a new interactive play hitting Christchurch. The audience become cast members. Some are even split off on side missions. Think of it like a live action video game or an episode of The Walking Dead, only you're part of the story. The audience play one of the major parts in the show, so it's always dependent on them, and I have a great time playing and interacting with them. You just gotta stay on your toes. With zombies heading to their location, the survivors are escorted into the abandoned facility by the military. Unfortunately, they're not the only ones roaming inside. This play is something different. The audience are at the centre of the experience. They're forced to make choices that help to drive the story as they race for survival against overwhelming odds. It may be just a play, but this is unlike any other play before. The director says it's breaking new ground. We're still breaking that ground because learning how to actually do it that way, how to move people in a room, how to because nobody sits down, it's how to keep their focus and so we've still got, I've already learned some things about, I can tell the actors tonight about how to improve that, so yeah. But yeah, new ground, and it, there's nothing like it, that's for sure. The audience was raving about the experience. Awesome, it was pretty scary at first, hanging out here and just waiting for them. The anticipation was the scariest. Uh, we are used to playing the video games. <laughs> oh, it was creepy, I thought they were gonna like, tech me or something. Good to just kind of get in there and actually be a part of it rather than just, I don't know, watching it or something like that. Just about troped. Yeah. <laughs> Not like graving it, it was scary, it. yeah. As long as people had fun, that's the main thing, you know. We want to um, give them a good theatrical experience as well as some frights, you know. Even the zombies managed to find their time. I'm used to doing um, in-school acting and a couple shows for the court theatre now, but that's about it. This is a new experience for me and I just love it. More than 100 audience members will be filling out the set each night. Split into two groups of 50, they'll have the choice of two different experiences. The team behind the concept have already sold a thousand tickets. They're taking the show to London in August to show their zombified creation off to the world. Marcus Gibbs, CTV News.